We knew that we were going to do this by having to be a partner with God. And I'm telling you guys, the Accenture gets it. Please get a warm welcome to our Sunday scene. Accenture leadership team. The people that I brought with me today um, all have arts and letters degrees. So you heard technology this and leadership that, and, but they all at the, at the core have arts and letters degrees. I spent time with Dante, who was an English major, and now he runs tech strategy. The types of skills that we develop in arts and letters is the foundation for the kinds of work that we do today. Dante is a uh, tech strategist. He is an uh, English major from Notre Dame. Shannon is an expert around food insecurity. Jimmy Priestess, romance language major, runs our AI. Encore Shaw is our physician on the panel. Encore runs our health equity capability for Accenture. Teresa Degree focuses on Medicare and, and uh, Medicaid. Lanchel is our, is our strategist, peer strategist. And then Peter, Peter is a client account lead. Peter manages and handles the client. The idea is that in the same way that you would go in annually for your physical, every year you would then take quarterly psychological quizzes that are backed by medical advice and medical experience. So today what we're addressing is how can we effectively go about the healthcare industry without directly going to doctors and nurses. The app uh, would allow uh, the patient to see how much time they have left. Um, kind of like our grub hub delivery systems. Like, you know when your pizza is going to drive, you should also know when your doctor is going to be there. So this is our concept design. Um, it's sort of this flowchart outlining how we're going to tackle each component. The overall goal of this app is to connect multiple apps that are already pre-existing, like Uber Health, like Instacart. Consumer experiences have become very streamlined. We're used to a beginning-to-end seamless process, and we wanted to bring that feeling into healthcare. Today, like many of you, I woke up, I came here, and I fueled myself with one Krispy Kreme donut and one <laughs> bottle of water, which puts me and many other of you firmly in the 92% of Americans that have a vitamin deficiency. <laughs> at-home nurses are really expensive. So this is taking the model of an at-home nurse and reducing the level of necessary education, like more like an EMT or something where you would only need like a two-year degree. Um, I am Thomas Musgrave, but in the spirit of the Imagine a World competition, let's imagine for a second that I am an older gentleman living in rural Montana. Um, I still don't have broadband internet access, and the data that's on this complicated cell phone is still not even strong enough to call my family, let alone do a telehealth appointment. So in third place, rural health. In second place, Vitamin. Alright, and then 
then in first place, Carefree.